Hey, it's your girl Basha. It's not easy keeping up with my hectic lifestyle as a wife, mother, and businesswoman. But a healthy lifestyle is a top priority. Something tells me we have the same story. Welcome to my food vlog, where I'm about to get my life together by preparing some yummy, healthy, and quick recipes for my family. Hey guys, it's your girl Basha and welcome to my Basha's food vlog. Today is a very special day. I'm going to be joined by my son Russ who has autism. It's not very often I get Russy to taste my menus because he has very specific taste as a child with autism. But I'm doing his favorite. I'm doing a Louisiana twist to the breaded um, chicken strips. And I'm also doing a dessert. Yes, I know I owe you a dessert. We do a lot of food up in here, but listen, this chef Intrude on a good dessert. And there's an easy recipe. It's gingerbread cakes and it's yummy, full of molasses, cinnamon, and all that. And you can see all these recipes on my site, www.fashapowell.com. So let's go. We're starting with our gingerbread cake. My oven is on 350 degrees Fahrenheit and we're ready to go. We need to get these cakes in the oven whilst I prepare my breaded chicken strip. So, first, we're gonna add our four ounce butter to the mixture along with our sugar now i did not melt my butter all the way i softened it simply by putting it in the microwave for about 30 seconds this is key so we're going to put all our butter in our mixer all right so we're done Next, we're going to just add our sugar. As I said, this recipe is on bashapowell.com. So we're going to add our sugar and we're going to cream the butter and sugar together in our food processor. Butter and the egg is light and fluffy now. So our next step is to add our molasses and our eggs. So the molasses and eggs. But before we do that, we have to add the egg to the molasses mixture. Very, very important. And beat that egg in the molasses. I don't recommend you Adding them separately, make sure that it's, oops, all blended. Egg and molasses together. Again, the exact measurements and amounts that you would need is on our site, ashapollo.com. What I love about this recipe is how easy it is to make. And the fact that you use this brown sugar, I actually use sugar in the roll. So it's a little healthier, no granulated sugar. And all right, so now that we have this blended, all blended, we're going to pour this mixture in. And let's put this. Sorry about that, guys. Hold on. Let's pour it in. All of it. And this molasses really, really brings out the flavor of this gingerbread cake. You probably say, well, what does molasses have to do with gingerbread cake? But it's just amazing, absolutely yummy. And the last will be all our dry ingredients. All of it, it's already smelling yummy and it's not done. And the oven is ready for this. It has been for some time. Okay, so let's, Get this mixture going. We're going 
going to add all our dry ingredients with the exception of our baking soda. So that's the key to this recipe, guys. We're going to add our, we're going to, and my flour is pre-sifted. So I've sifted my flour before this, but I left the others just to, de to demo for you. So this is our ginger and then our cinnamon, yummy, followed by Followed by our salt, just a quarter teaspoon of salt, as I said, the recipes on our site. So you can get all your measurements by going to bashapal.com. So this is set So we want to place this, fold it in. And I think at this point is when we want to put our guard back on our, I love, what I love about this food processor is that it comes with a guard so that it doesn't splat up all over my clothes. Because I'm not wearing an apron. <sighs> so we're mixing our dry ingredients. Which everything that we've put before, which is the molasses, the egg, the butter, the sugar. And the last thing we're gonna do is to add the baking soda to hot water, which is why it's in this teacup. I couldn't put it in plastic. It's just hot water. Eight ounces of hot water. And once this batter is ready, we'll add the hot water which makes the batter really thin. And then all we have to do is pour our batter into our muffin pans and it's ready to go in the oven. So here we go, we're gonna start pouring baking soda in water. And it changes the consistency of the batter. About to pour my batter in well I'm almost finished it's really just um just be careful not to put too much in your muffin holes I tend to put oh, some water there we just don't want any water in that batter I tend to put just over half of the batter now depending on the type of muffin pan you have you may have to grease it I didn't have to grease mine um but I did actually, but sometimes I don't and it's quite fine in this particular muffin pan. This is yummy. So you don't want to pull it all the way up, really just give it about half, just about half for each one. Make sure it's even. So guys, our gingerbread cakes are still in the oven. We have some time. And now I'm about to prepare our breaded chicken strips. The oil is really, really hot, so I'm kind of running behind. But first, we have the soda order. We will dip it in some flour. So we're doing flour, egg, and breaded panko breadcrumbs. Really easy, and and by the way, our chicken is already pre-seasoned with all our nice, yummy Louisiana goodness. Oh, I need another bowl to put my bread. It's so it's ready. Once it's dipped in this, it's ready to go in the pot. But I'm gonna put them all together 
so that I can focus on my goodness. Dust that flour off into our egg wash and our panko breadcrumbs. And then we put that in our hot pan, which is ready for these things. As you can see our pan the oil is really ready make sure that oil is hot so you can get that whole crispy vibe for your breaded chicken strips pre-season and just to add the batter it's just absolutely yummy very dry food and he loves pasta don't you like pasta pasta and you like white rice yes yes and you like curry chicken as well which is the weirdest thing because he doesn't like gravy and stuff on his food so Rusty's having spaghetti with breaded chicken strips and RJ and I we're having a risley potato which I'll demo in another show asparagus and chicken strips Rusty's favorite chicken strips so guys let's take it because guess what our ice cream our gingerbread cake and ice cream melted so we want to be able to eat this really quickly and guys for the entire recipe don't forget to go to www.slashapower.com the recipes online for the gingerbread cake and the chicken strips mm. mm -hmm. mm. do you like it Rossi? yes mm. Mm. does it taste better than chicken free? does mommy food taste better than chicken free? yes Mmm. RJ. Yes. Ten stars or six? Six a lot. Six stars? Six is a lot. No, ten is a lot. Yes, no. Oh. Once Rossi likes it, because I prepared this special meal from Rossi. And Rossi is almost ready eating his chicken strips. It tastes that good. You have no idea how this makes me feel. Because if you ask other parents with kids with autism, you know, their taste it's really difficult to prepare meals for them. Unique. Unique. But you see, he has to smell it first. That's for him to connect with his taste. So that means he approves and he's looking at his gingerbread cake. Really, really quickly, we're gonna eat this up. In fact, I think we should taste the cake now, guys. And ice cream and see if we like it. Mm. You really taste it to the Rossi. Taste and tell mommy how you like it. This show is all about Rossi. Guys, don't forget to follow me on IG as well, Basha Powell. Gingerbread cake, you like it? Yes. Mmm. Ten 
hand size. Yes. Yes. Oh. Okay, Rusty. Your turn. Say bye, everybody. Look at the camera and tell them bye. Bye. <laughs> Rusty is so busy eating, guys. It was so nice. And I feel so good. This is like my favorite show. My two sons are with me. It's your girl, Basha. I'm about to eat and have my dessert because it's melting. But don't forget, you're welcome, son. So subscribe to my blog, Basha Paul. Dot com. Follow me on IG and on our YouTube for cooking show, Basha Star Cooking. I love you guys. I'm hungry. I'm so tired. I have to clean up this kitchen. Bye. See you next week. It is.